Yeah, this will be the, the third time that we've gotten a, a full heifer off of uh, Ridgeway Wagyu. So it initially came about because all the restaurants closed and a lot of his business would be restaurant business. And so obviously he wasn't breaking down cattle to give, just sell prime cuts to us. So he said, I'll oh, take a chance on taking a full one because obviously we break beef. So I wasn't too optimistic now. <laughs> I thought it would take a lot longer for it to go, but it literally, at the height of the lockdown, like if we went through the full thing in two weeks, which for a premium- The full carcass? Yeah, for a premium product, like that's, that's serious, serious going. And what weight are they killed at? Are they big cattle when they're killed? They or? would be, they'd be slightly, uh, slightly older ones now. He was saying to me, no matter what you do, it's the complete opposite of most cattle in the Irish market. Because the Wagyu is known for its uh, intense marbling. Mm -hmm. He said with the genetics, you can do what you like with it, but until you get to 30 months, it's not putting that marbling down. So like this- Oh, I get you. So you yeah. need it over 30 so, months. Uh, he so where's the marbling? Show us there, you can see the little streams you'll see of fat in it. Just the, kind of there, you'll see it more yeah. now. If I actually just take a slice off that, hopefully you should see it. But uh, he tends to, ones we've been getting off him would be about 36 months, which means you can't sell it on the bone. That's why we're boning oh, it out. Wow. But you kind of see the, and it- That thing, fat is giving it the flavor then. When yeah, that and he stands. feeds his on olives and chocolate. And <laughs> yeah, I know they literally, you see the photos, they spread the, the like the cocoa powder over the, over the feed and uh, the olive feed. But with the olive feed, it makes the fat melt and I think it's about two thirds lower temperature. So even when we're handling beef, we'll notice the heat from our hands starting to melt the fat. Wow. So for someone like me, like my favorite steak of all is a ribeye. Yes. But I like it rare. And it's a balancing act because you don't want a big chunk of raw fat yeah. in your ribeye. But with yeah. the Wagyu, you get the best of both worlds because the fat render is lovely. Like even the, like one of our favorite things to do is we'll bring home Wagyu short ribs, which would be this. Yes. And just the top of the rib. Yeah, and just do it in the the slow cooker at or home. Or is that the bottom of the rib? Well, that'd be kind of where you're leading in towards the. This would be the back of the animal. Yes. And then that's leading around that's the front. Around the rib cage. Yeah, exactly, exactly that. Super. That'd be like your your big sheet of, of ribs and such. Yeah. Oh, that looks amazing. Yeah, that's you know the age on this one. I say is particularly well aged. And someone is coming in for some ribeyes today and they are in for a serious, serious treat. Oh, 